Hi guys. Today we will see the circular progress bar. Now before that, I just show the output how it look like. See here, see the color field, and here it shows the percentage. We will modify it. Okay, we can do this this circular progress bar in a two way. First one is the simplest way we can draw the circle by using the arc. And just fill this circle with the percentage. Else, and the second one, you can write the custom properties for each and everything. But it might tricky part to write a custom property to everything. But here is also we can write custom property to draw the circle and fill it. Let's see one by one. Now here I am going to explain the code. And at the end of this video, in a description box, you can see the link to download this code. And you can modify as per your requirement. See here, it's as simple as possible, and not using any extra resources. You can see here, there is no resources so just for that. Now, sorry, this is your main window. This is like a hundred percent of this small, so two hundred percent. This is your circle. And here we fill this circle with this color, and this one is the progress. How much amount of circle is filled? We convert this 360 into an 100 so that we can see the 100 percent to fill this color. So first, let's understand what we use. We use here the class. At the inbuilt class, design this namespace design in control, which is freely available. From the .NET library, we did not install anything to use this. You can directly import this namespace. We are able to use it. So here, this is the stack panel. This is the basic design. Here, I bind this user control. This is the circular progress bar. So the circular progress bar here is the alignment is center to that stack panel and vertical alignment is center here we assign a color while filling this then stroke that is the thickness and the percentage is the hundred percent now inside inside is the text block that is the zero here bind the value which calculated while filling this percentage the element name is pb status See, the pb status here the simple i use one regular progress bar that is your horizontal progress bar and having visibility is hide so we cannot see this progress bar but we can see the progress of this bar with the help of this circle we just take this value of this progress bar from this progress bar to this circular progress bar okay that means the value is comes from this pb status okay now again horizontal alignment is center okay so design control here is the circular bar now we use two times circle here inner and outer so that we can fill this easily and show the stroke is fine if you go for this if you increase this stroke as a 30 then while filling this it will be disturbing the circular arc I'll show you. See here. The stroke is from the center. We can do like this also. But we are not expecting this. This is a circular bar. So that's why the stroke of both the circle is 5. So it looks like simple one. Now coming to this user control, as we use user control as a circular bar, so come here, this is your user control, here we define only the properties, path of that properties and we bind this, we write this custom property beyond this, 
Here we use the arc segment x as an arc segment. Then to the user control element, we bind this user control element with the segment color, which we define in that. And stroke thickness is here. Now let's see here the code beyond this. Here we write the custom property beyond this circle. The radius for the circle, then circular progress bar, then segment color, then stroke thickness, percentage, angle at which we want to run this. Okay, and these are the custom dependency property. Here we modify this. Let's say this is your circle radius. Now, right now, circle is look like this is too small. Suppose you want to big one, we are making it as a 45. So let's choose. Okay, still increase it. Okay, the effect is not that much visible. Let's Let's see the difference. Okay. And hundred. Okay, now can increase the thickness also. Let's check. And see what happens. Then here the color thickness is increased. You can change it here also. Okay. Here, yeah. it's out of the hour. Track horizontally. So let's here make it as a So this is your circular progress bar and beyond this, this is, these are the custom property where the angle is converted okay here rendering arc the points are converted here and so that it will be take the point to fill the color and to draw the circle That the Cartesian coordinates you can say that this is the simple graph, circular graph. You just fill this circular graph with the help of angle and the percentage. This is a simple drawing point of view. We just draw the circle and fill it as per the sign requirement. So, sign now let's see the how to fill, how to control this field. Here is the percent progress is up to 100 percent now come here this will thread dot slip here 100 1000 milliseconds means one second you can see this okay Let's follow the second at actual time to make it as a pen, then it's too faster. Okay. 
here. So let's make it 100 for the visibility. You can modify it as per your project requirement. Okay. Now let's see here. Here showing the zero. Okay. But I want percentage. You can take it vertical alignment also. For the center. And while binding here, we can use one more binding element as an in string format so that we are able to put the extra string at the end of this text. So string format first two. Now make it as a first empty. Then we are not binding anything with this. Combine zero and at last percentage. Let's see what happens. Okay, now here is the percentage. We can increase the size of this font also. So font size. You can color it. Then, in this way, you can do. You can create a circular progress bar. See, we have multiple choices, multiple methods to do this. You can write whole and soul custom dependency property so that you can develop a circular progress bar also. Right now, here, I am doing the simplest way to draw circular chart, circular Cartesian chart, and just fill this graph with the help of some coordinates x and y, and to bind the filling speed with this progress bar. Here. And I just make this progress bar visibility is the hidden. You can make them. If you show as a visible, then let's see. Here, this is the progress bar. And as per this progress bar, this color is filling to the circle. You can change color this. You can change this color here also. Okay, in this way we can develop. The circular progress bar. Now, if you like this, then just download the code from the description box and subscribe to the channel. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Due to the time, I'm just explaining the code. The rest of the things you will get inside the code. If you have any doubt or unable to understand the code, just comment me. I will answer you the same.